to you from Oslo, Norway. We're here in the north. So we are walking around here in the downtown area. This is almost Centrum. And we are cruising. I'm gonna get on the hop on, hop off bus, do a tour around town, because this is my first time here. Um, I know some of you are like, oh man, I can't believe you're doing hop on, hop off, but there's a lot to see and do in Norway and I don't wanna miss anything. Unfortunately, the Viking Museum is closed. They're doing a three-year renovation. Hopefully, by the time you get here, it will be open. But I am going to go to the National Museum, the waterfront, show you all around Oslo. Let's do it. So the population of Oslo is around 700,000 people. Some sort of protest going on. Yeah, I'm not sure what the protest is or if it's some sort of chanting. Kind of loud, but it's okay. Let's see. All right, now we've arrived at the Royal Palace here. This is actually a really peaceful park right near Centrum in the city center. Wow. Also, it's amazing, huh? Especially in the summer. Nice view from up here. All right. Very green and lush city, Oslo. Mallersalen. Very nice flowers. This is an interesting place for a statue, right under a tree, where the birds and the pigeons are. The pigeons all over the world, like literally everywhere. It's like one of the most worldwide creatures. They are literally everywhere. Name a place pigeons are not. They must have like brought them around with them when I traveled. The explorers. All right, we are down here on the waterfront. Literally flowers everywhere. Blooming. See things in the air. All right, so they've got some museums over here that are worth checking out. That's what I'm looking for. I've also got a Viking ship museum. I think this is the ferry. Nice little waterfront they got going here. I flew in yesterday, saw the Fjords. And Oslo connects all the way through with many Fjords. Oh wow, Lekker Turn. Check out this place right here. It's like a bar on a barge. Two barges with seating. Let's see, do they have seating for me? Maybe I could sit along the waterfront. Let's try it out. It smells like they're burning some wood around here. And I think I found the source. I think that's a sauna. If you like wood smell, burning wood smell, then you'll like it.
Yeah, see, they got the other side of the lectern. I just went in there and had a beer. It was a very nice experience. Those are the guys burning the wood. Previously, I said that there was 700,000 people in the city of Oslo. That's true, but there's about 1 million in the metro area. TGI Fridays. Norway is probably, or Oslo has probably been my favorite European city so far. Oh, okay. Astrup Fernley Museum, another art museum. They've got a lot of these museums that are related to art around here. So I stopped into the convenience store here. I got a hot dog. It's got bacon on it. It's like a Norwegian style, huh? It's like people like to come over here to the uh, city hall. Check out the uh, astronomical clock up there. The sun just kind of comes and goes, doesn't it? Oh, we've got to hop on, hop off. Look at all these birds are doing. Look at all those birds. Hop on, hop off. Let's try it. Sightseeing. All right. We are on the bus. They say it takes an hour and 30 minutes to do the full route, hour and 15 minutes. So we'll see what we come across. We're definitely hitting some trees along the way. Now we have made it to Vigland. It's a park. So we shall explore here around this park. The hop on hop off bus says every half hour for every stop. So 30 minutes from now I'll get back on the bus and go to another destination. Pretty efficient. I get 30 minutes. It's a nice park. Really it is. They love their statues out here. <laughs> These statues are real interesting. Like, what is going on there? Oh man, literally smells very floral. This is possibly one of the most fragrant smelling places I've ever been. 
I mean, these roses are very, like, fragrant. It's the only word I could think of to describe it. That's where we came from. on hop off bus I said worth a stop and I'm glad I only uh, had 30 minutes because that's all you really need unless you wanted to come up here and sleep which I saw some people doing it's not entirely a bad idea and we're back out onto the bus again They do have audio if you wanted to tap in. Press one for English or whatever language. So there's two Viking museums. This is the Viking Ship Museum that you're looking at here. But there's also a Viking History Museum which has actually been closed for three years as it's undergone renovation. But this is the Viking Ship uh, Museum. In the Oslo cruise terminal here. It's a souvenir store. What kind of souvenirs they got? Alright. So here's the fortress. You can see here's the name. And you're more than welcome to try and pronounce that in the comments. Ackerhaus Fortress. So let's go see if we can get in here. And what it's going to take to get in. I think they said it was built in the 1100s or 1300s, can't remember, but it's old. All right. Did I just come in the back door or something? Cannons! Great view of the cruise port. I'd love to do a cruise out of here if I can. Okay. What do we got going on here? You can see the fortress is quite big. You're just gonna have to come in and see it for yourself. You know, I saw this before with these rocks on the roof in Switzerland. Great idea. This probably makes her a heavy roof though. Well, that was a cool fort. We got two museums in there if you wanted to go do that. Now we're going to go head back down to the city center. It's getting towards lunch. I had that hot dog earlier and a donut, but that's all I eat. Let's 
Jensen's off house. What is this? Just kind of cruise around here, browse around. Joe and the juice. A cup of Joe and some juice. Souvenirs. Let's see what they got. All right, so I'll just show you my room here at the Radisson Blue right here in downtown. About 165 US dollars per night. And it's a Saturday, but you can see this is actually the back side of Oslo. Something going on up in those mountains there. So now I just want to show you guys what it looks like in a Oslo underground. You can see they got trains to the airport and then the metro. It's actually not too far below the city. You can see this is the metro train. Subway. Tracks right here. Here it comes. Eastbound train. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, you got that train. They were stopped behind me. I was like, you can go. We got a few different areas around here I just wanted to show you. I'm just surprised how like shallow it is below the surface. It's kind of like an underground city under here. It's got a good feel to it though. There's another track down below though. Just depends on where you're going. You can see they got tracks three and four here. This one's going much lower. Oh. There you go. That one goes much further down. Yeah. Efficient. Yeah, Louis Vuitton, huh? This road is called Carl, Carl Johannes Gate, and there it is Scott's Gate.
is a Sunday afternoon in mid-July 2022. I was told there's a waterfront down here where they've got a library and a really nice walking area so we'll see dang that sounds good huh I thought they were going to sing that. So this area we're at here is actually where the main train station is. Oh. Oslo City. I have no idea how the traffic flow works here. Comfort Hotel, Grand Central. Oh, there's a mall there. Mall of Oslo. Mm-hmm. So like on the map, this looked like the uh, main train station. Okay, yes, this is the main Oslo station right here. Maybe we should go in there. But first, we need to check out this waterfront and the old town. So this area here is Gamel Oslo. You can see the waterfront, that's where we're going to walk around here. And here we have the Opera House. Possibly on par with Sydney. They love the opera here. What we got going on over here? It's like a beach. Here's actually what it looks like inside the Opera House. If you go outside here, you can see kind of sleep or sit right up on here on the side. Very busy area down here. Beach Munch. Water, 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 water. And 
intentionally broken glass. Okay. Munch. If that was munching, it would almost be Munich. Looks like you can cross this bridge to get to the other side there where there's a lot of housing. And as it turns out, this museum here called the Munch is an art museum. Look at that structure over there. The Munch. I got some ceviche here and a Moscow mule, but yeah, ceviche. All right, nice little waterfront over here. So we are at Oslo Central Station. Let's at least check it out. See what's going on in here. You can get a train to the airport from here. And I believe even all around Norway. Here in the north. Okay. How's this work? Lillehammer, Oslo Airport, okay, we got an upstairs, let's go to the other side, see if we can make sense of it, express airport train, well I'm going to go over to this side here. Okay. Looks like a lot of the action is up above instead of down below. Down below is where you can get some food and restaurant stuff, but not where the trains are. Okay. Let's go up above and see what they got going on up there. Airport Express. Oh, I see. Definitely more going on over there. Let's just see what's going on. Tracks 13 through 19. Seems reasonable enough. Tracks 13, 19, you can see 17, 15. I think you can get all the way to Stockholm from here. Moss, be a long train ride though. So we got the underground train, the bus terminal, and the main station hall over here. I'm not actually riding the train today, but I am showing you guys around this station here. There's Oslo Airport. Oh, it's 
pretty efficient there. Can't complain about that. Okay. Tracks one and two. Drummond. Track eight. Same deal, just basically ground level. And then the metro. Ah, I see. So here's the metro. Oslo Spectrum, T Bane Metro. Some food there. bus terminals over here. Oh, it's a mall of Oslo over here. Okay. Let's see what's up with the mall. The mall of Oslo. So this is the Mall of Oslo. Let's see if we go down where that will take us. Yep. Is this down? It's not working. Okay. I was not sure how that worked. shopping in there actually. A lot less than I had hoped for. There's a restaurant. Let's see what kind of food they got. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one from Oslo, Norway.